and, and some of the things they noted on the plans, just uh, just looking at it. So, Sarah. Yeah, sure. No, thanks. <laughs> um, forgive my cough and throat clearing. I'm getting over COVID and sorry, I can't mute myself fast enough. Um, <clears throat> so really quickly to your question about what it looks like to apply for zoning relief in Somerville. Um, we have a we have a pretty extensive process um, so that, you know, if you apply for variants or if you apply even to um, uh, if you want to apply to, you know, have your um, uh, building classification changed, if you want to contend that it's currently incorrect, um, you would need to have what we call a pre-submittal meeting. You would have to submit a application on our pre-submittal form. You'd have to have a pre-submittal meeting where we would explain to you what happens. Um, <clears throat> And then you would have to file a formal application through CitizenServe, ultimately. Um, if you're looking for variances eventually, um, then depending on what you're asking for, you might need to have neighborhood meetings. Um, two of them are technically typically required. Um, and it, you know, it takes a bit to, to get those um, set up. You have to coordinate with the assigned planner and with the ward counselor, um, you know, on an agreeable date, et cetera, et cetera. And so there's a certain cadence that follows each step in the application process, depending on which which route you go. Um, <clears throat> if you appeal your building uh, classific type classification, um, the, the zoning board can approve it or deny it. If they deny it, then you're stuck with what your classification is. If they say, hey, yeah, you know, we think that you're right and that your building should have been classified in this other fashion, then great, then that resets what the existing um, building type classification is. Um, these things take a while. Um, like right now, I, th I think just looking at the calendar, if you were to apply right now, um, for something like this, given the pre-submittal meetings, we have to have your application process through citizen serve, making sure that you have everything. Staff has to write reports and then schedule for a hearing. We're we're looking at the new year at this point before anything would would go in front of the ZBA. Um, we can't tell you what the exact timeline would be. It a lot of it depends on you and the accuracy of what you submit when we receive it. And we only actually um, assign cases to our planners every roughly 14 days or so. Um, so there are a lot of things to think about in that trajectory. <clears throat> With regard to the historic component, it's a separate process than the zoning component. Um, and demolition review has, is a two-step process. The first is there's a determination by the Historic Preservation oh. Commission as to whether or not the building is considered to be historically significant. And they have a set of criteria that they base their determination on that's based on a ton of research that our staff does about the history of the building, the architecture, who lived there, a variety of different things. And if they determine it's historically significant, then there's a second step in the process that happens, you know, a month or so later, um, and they determine whether or not it should be preferably preserved. Um, and again, that's based on a, a series of criteria that they go through. If they determine that the building is preferably preserved, then that imposes an 18 month delay on the demolition of the building. And that delay time can be shortened by working with staff on what we call alternative means of preservation, like maybe there's some salvage, maybe there are certain design considerations that are made um, for the rebuild, et cetera, et cetera. Um, <clears throat> what we don't have, unfortunately, is the crystal ball, although I'm sure plenty of people in Salem, especially right now, have one, um, we don't have under their determination on either of those steps in the process. So it's, and the thing is, until, until you're through the demolition review process, like Josh said, the building department can't issue a building permit. And if you get the demolition delay, they also can't issue a building permit 